Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Rise of the Shia. I'm your host, Galvin, and please ignore the last thing that I uploaded. It was a mistake, and I loaded from a uh, save that was a couple years back. I did the same episode twice. Oops. Uh, but we're back with the first one that I recorded. Alright. Um... So first things first, though, we have to deal with a uh, rather large Nubian Liberation Revolt that has luckily been worn down over time. And even more hilariously, the leader has managed to get himself imprisoned by the Tulanids. Also, it looks like the Abbasids are rolling over the Tulanids. I really want to get this uh, cleaned up quick. Real quick and easy. Uh, so, I can pr possibly invade the Tulanids. Uh, if I'm working alongside the Abbasid, the only one who could join in would be the Agbalid. And the Agbalid are currently fighting the Umayyad Sultanate. What the hell? Where are you going? You're not going anywhere. I'ma catch you, boy. I'ma catch you. And I'ma make you pay. Make you cr pay for your crimes. Oh, I was wounded in battle. Chase those bastards down. Okay. Alright, so hopefully we should finish them here. Uh, I hope. Yep, there you go. Alright, let's get them back into our territory. Enforce our... Damn it. It said enforce our peace. Alright, very good. So, yeah, the Abbasids... Oh no, you're no longer attacking? What happened? Here. Signed organs... The Abbasid subjugation of Arabia. You lost that? I... Okay. And... I'm not entirely certain how you managed to lose that, but good work, I guess? But... Oh, well, I guess we're just gonna have to march into X sum and annex that. G good job, Abbasids. You, you just keep doing what you're doing. Oh, lovely. And the old Caliph's about to kick the bucket. Who's my heir? You. Are you any good? No, you're a piece of shit. Okay, which son of mine is better? I really enjoy my first son, actually. Hmm. Those are some pretty good all-around things he's got going there. I mean, he is homosexual, but he's already got three male children, so that's not really a problem. Um, I need to give him some land, though. Yeah, I guess if I give him Medina... Then... He should... Oh, of course, he gives out the friggin' mosque there. Oh, well, whatever. Or, that's fine. Um, okay, well, now he should be my primary heir. Yep. Good. Glad to see that. You'll be fine, especially with your twine diplomacy. Uh, I want him because, you know, it should make a bit of a smoother succession. Uh, I decided to give myself a little bit of a challenge and actually landed some of my brothers, so we'll have to see how that goes. I mean, uh, people are making a big deal out of it, like it's going to be super hard. I'm, I want to see this, like, I have trouble believing that uh, it's going to be as hard as people are making it out to be. You know, I, I just have a bit of trouble believing that. And... And... done. Boom. No time for you to organize, I'm afraid. Although you still came out at full morale. I think all your other stuff instantly retreated, though. <laughs> Ooh, that's not a good way to be uh, retreating. I find it odd that they limp like that. Excuse me, it looks like they're limping. Also, I find it odd that the dude's white. I mean, ich, it just seems kind of odd sitting in the middle of Arabia that it's a white man. Just, just saying. Alright, well, we'll 
keep him on his toes running around like that. He's got to attack over rivers and into mountains anyway, so he's cooked. Yeah, there you go. And that's the last of his army. Okay. Uh, Prince of Dula make a good guardian. Uh, yeah, sure, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna educate grandson here, though. At least until I die. It's gonna be kind of a requirement, I'm afraid. Then, then I can swap over his education, just to make sure. Alright, so once this falls, we'll be in good shape. Okay, and... Almost... There we go. Alright, so that's at least Axum. At least we got something after all this damn time and all these damned stalemates. We got something. Um... So, uh, let's, let's, let's drop you. Who can be the Sheik of Aksum? Of which... Oh yeah, right, I'm a Caliphate, and we discovered this before. Then I can actually revoke this stuff, can't I? Yes, yes I can. Can I, I don't think I can revoke... Yeah, I can't revoke, uh, regular titles, but you... You, you, you can take care of that. It's good to be Caliph. Ah, uh, anyway, I'm not too worried about... Hmm, Joms Vikings. Band of Fears Vikings, worry about... I, I have no idea what fires this event. Um... Oh, and we have a fully formed Lithuania. Interesting. I wonder... Perhaps, uh, it has something to do with, uh, the fact that Sweden's in the Baltic. Like, I think this is the first time I've seen this event, which is with Barony of Drums Vikings. Uh, I think it does. I think it does. Yeah, once 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 a uh, Norseman starts conquering stuff in the Baltic, he can probably uh, give land to the Drums Vikings. Man, that empire. That empire. So shattered. And France is in Italy, and so is Lotharingia. Yeah, looks like it's been divvied up between the two of them. So business as usual for the Carlings. Okay, um, otherwise that should take care of that. Still no monthly decadence gain, which is great. Alright, so how is this war going? Like, the only problem I would have is that the Abbasids made... Okay, you know what? You're now at war with, with the Tulinid and the Agbalid. Okay, so they can't even join in. This is fine. Uh, we're going to be prepare. We're going to be performing an invasion of Egypt. Uh, the Agbalid are their only allies. The Abbasid are invading them as we speak. Uh, this seems like a decent enough time, in my eyes, to uh, do a full-scale invasion. I don't know about you guys, but I've got. We've got to find a way to break this stalemate. So uh, it really is more of whatever the hell works, I suppose. Hmm? My son. Okay, not not my uh, eldest son. Died in an accident. Well, at least it wasn't a suspicious accident. Um. Well, congratulations, since you're next up in line. Uh, here you go, you have that emirate. That, that under vassal right now is pissed as hell at me, so uh, I don't want anything to do with him. Oh well. As I said, I'm not too worried about my brothers trying to overthrow me when I uh, succeed. I, I think I'll be okay. I think I, I want to see like how bad it actually is to uh, have this. People are telling me it's gonna kill me, but I, I I have yet to see that or believe that. So 
We'll see how it goes. Also, did I grab you guys? No, I, I never managed to. It's always a problem. I can never grab those dudes. Alright, well, yeah, as I figured, this, this place is friggin' empty. No one in sight. The only people who might help them are the Ashinas. Which doesn't appear to be happening. Oh, good. No longer wounded. Still, however, infirm, which isn't good, but... It's, it's something we can work on. Alright, so we're getting... We're gonna have to plow our way through from here first. Um, I should probably uh, try and stick together. Uh, 12,000, that's okay. Because uh, I know the two Linnets can raise, you know, like nine, ten thousand dudes. Uh, so I'd prefer not to be caught apart from what, from my uh, associates. Could prove to be a bit of a problem. Alright, so I'm going to want you guys to actually change your course and head here. To Quenna. Uh, the guys coming up here will continue to Aswan just fine. Might as well get a second seed started. From here, I should be able to aid either one, no problem. What are the river crossings like in his capital? So, Aguaya, Quena, Azyut, Manapura. So, you can still invade from Gizeh. Okay. I don't believe you can attack Manapura from anywhere. No, 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 you cannot. So, this region is so river heavy. If I can make my way up to the uh, Nile Deltas, then there's a decent chance. Uh, I definitely have a pretty good chance, I'd think. Alright. And with any luck, we should have a uh, another group arriving. Yep, they'll be here soon. Oh, hey, we, we did just get caught out. Um, I doubt we'll be there in time to save anyone, but... Yeah, you know what? Just get out of that. Everyone out now. That's just fine. Um, who the hell was that? Ah, yes, yes, of course. The various mirrors are joining in, as I said they probably would. Uh, so no surprises there, but that's okay. We're, we're fine, we're fine. Um, it's only a small setback. Okay, let's see. Reward my Kut Mula. It's on a first skill. Or gain 10 piety. Gain 10 piety. Everybody loves piety. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'd like to take a moment just to make sure that uh, my commanders are all properly appointed, and it looks like now they are. And the soldiers in Quena will stand at the ready. Aswan's terrain, mountains, damn it's desert, okay. Alright, and get in there. Oh, of course. Now we have a Abyssinian Liberation Revolt. Well, frig. And of course, you know, it just happened to be in one gigantic province that's uh, going to block my reinforcements. Alright, so hopefully they should be there in time to uh, ensure the survival of our army. At least I hope so. Looks like we're going to win anyway, but always better to win much more heavily. Ooh. Mm. I really don't need any more kids. I'm just saying. And Lustful isn't going to help at all. Alright, and we go. Why am I leading the friggin' center there? That's not what I should have been doing. Yeah, there we go. See, so stop leading the center. Alright. Well, we uh, did at least manage to uh, get a fair bit of demolition down on their soldiers. We're going to chase them down and finish them off just to damn well make sure, though. Okay. Yeah, right. They, all right, and they're heading right back in Aswan. Perfect. Okay. Thank you for the war score. <laughs> all right, so we, we can just leave them at that point. It's I find it better to leave uh, enemy armies alive and really weak, because if we look here, uh, this is actually 6,600 worth of levies that can't regenerate now. He can't re-raise them. So crippling your enemy army and leaving it to about one-fourth its size prevents re-raising. You never really want to hunt down and finish them off. It's it, it can be a bad idea, generally speaking. 
So, you know, it's, it's, it's advisable to avoid doing that. Uh, I am a little worried that there could be more. Here's the thing. Uh, let's look at the realm tree. Uh, I'm interested in that right now because I want to know how many men he can get up. All uh, right, let's see what we got here. Current levy of top liege is 10,000. Okay, you know what? I want to be a little, uh, I would like to be a uh, little more, um, I wouldn't mind some mercs is what I'm saying. I, I'm kind of worried, you know? Kind, kind of worried. Well, I definitely have enough money to afford them. Uh, uh, Arab company. There really isn't any good mercs around here. That's a problem. Bedouin company's okay with all that light cavalry. Where are the gilmen? Well, uh, actually, you know what? I got another 3,000 here. We'll be fine. Uh, anyway, I'm going to be ending this episode here. So I'd like to thank everybody for watching. As always, this has been your lovely, lovely host, Kelvin, signing off.